Okay, I literally just came in from my walk. I went to, I haven't even turned my radio off. Hold on. Everybody laughs at me because I um, not paying. I will not have a smartphone and I'm not paying $70, $80 a month to listen to music. So, I walk in, come back from my walk, have a bottle of water in my um, soda water in my bag, so I'm gonna leave it in the kitchen and I'll schlep it upstairs. I got my headphones on. I'm not even, he's in there. I'm not even, yeah, uh, you know, talk to him. Just listen to my music, put my bottle down, and come upstairs, have my shower, the routine for the day. He's like, that I'm saying something, so I'm like, what? So he asks me if I had touched and taken his new broom that he had in the living room up against the wall. No, I don't know anything about a new broom, but what this is, is a tactic. So, let's see what's going on with the broom. So, Jim, you're saying that you had a broom here and that somebody stole it? I didn't say somebody stole it. Well, you said it was up against the wall and it's gone now and asked me if I had taken it. And I said, I don't touch anything of yours. And you're like, oh, yeah, right. So, could you please clarify what happened about this new broom that you bought and had here in the living room that disappeared? What do you want from me? I just want you to clarify what the thing is about the broom. You asked me if you've seen it. Well, yeah, and I said I hadn't. I hadn't even been in the living room, and I don't touch anything of yours. And you're like, oh yeah, right. Like somebody steal it. Well, obviously, if you put the broom here and it's gone, somebody in the house has taken it. And and that's what you're trying to find out. Fabulous. So you asked me about a broom. You got something? What? Well, this is. What, this, well, I talk. You guys. No, I am gathering evidence of everything that's going on. I've been doing. I started that in Spain. I got an idea. You know, and and I know the problem is is you are you all are so sure because this is what's happening that the judges don't care. The lawyers don't care. It'll be all swept under the carpet, but that's why it's important to have all of this evidence, all of the, the documentation. When we get to the international courts, it's all there. I keep on explaining to all of the ladies out there the importance of this, and that's why I'm not amusing myself. I'm working. Believe me, I've worked 24-7 and have for the past my lifetime and don't take vacations and sleep in front of the whole TV. I mean, so, I still don't know what the hell's going on with his freaking broom. <laughs> I mean, but this is a gaslighting type of thing of, well, you're taking, your my stuff is disappearing. You're the one who's taking everything and then saying it's me. And this is why I keep on telling all of the other victims, whatever their situation might be, gather the evidence. Keep your records straight. Because if you don't have proper records of everything that's going on, just like Trump, just like everybody else, they'll just say, it was all in your head, you were just imagining it. Now this is the gaslighting. And this is where everybody who's buying into that gaslighting and you know saying, oh yeah, 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 it didn't happen, it didn't happen, it didn't happen, can't become complicit to the criminal activity of the perpetrators. And as I said, when I'm downstairs, for over 15 years, I started documenting this when I was in Spain, unfortunately, the house in Madrid, I didn't have much technology. Um, you know, somebody was like, well, you were stupid. You should have had when I had access to all the money and could have, you know, started taking money out and putting it into a secret account. 
Well, all of those years I could have been doing that when we were in Madrid. I mean, hell, he was going to pull this. But uh, I didn't. I mean, I, I actually trusted the legal system and had some sort of confidence. I mean, yes, okay, I was gaslighted as well. I was naive. I actually believed in the integrity and honesty and honor of anyone out there. But uh, the interim years have shown where everybody's uh, loyalties lie. And their lo loyalties always lie with their pocketbooks and their egos and their power trips. It is what it is. However, all you people supporting this type of crap, it's gonna be, it is what it is when we get to Nuremberg trials too. And everybody who keeps on, you know, shut up stupid, shut up stupid. With these type of cat tactics. It's all the same everywhere I go, everywhere. And this is the ca the capital of freedom of sp speech and defender of rights, of human and civil rights of people. What a joke. Really is a really sick joke. 